Uh, all right, so last one here is from uh, Rob Lozon from Ottawa. Rob? Rob, where are you? Do you exist? Nice! Hi. He says, I first heard Rush at 11 years old, uh, he's 57 now, uh, when my buddy borrowed, uh, in, in quotes, uh, his older sister's copy of 2112 and put it on. Uh, we won't talk about the fight they had when she found out. Uh, <laughs> it was a world-changing moment for me. He says, I remember thinking, wow, what is this and how do I find more? I was so proud that you guys were Canadian. Rush has been a constant through the good times and helping to get through the bad times in my life ever since. The 26 amazing live Rush shows that I went to are the top of my favorite memories. Thank you so much. 26, good on. Thank you, man. Uh, <coughs> To me, La Villa Strangiata was truly one of the most amazing pieces of music I've ever heard, and no matter how many times I listen to it, it moves me, and I always sit there for a few seconds at the end and just say to myself, wow, I have seen that you have said it exceeded your abilities. I'm wondering if you could talk a bit about the process of how it all came together. Was there a, wow, this is pretty incredible moment? Thanks so much. Okay, so La Villa Strangiata is a classic story in, in because uh, we wanted, when we wrote it, um, we wanted it to be recorded in one take. You know, it's about, what, 11 minutes long, something like that, maybe more. And it's a little complicated. <laughs> so uh, I think we wrote it right at the studio when we had arrived and we're staying at a place down the, the road. And uh, it came together in a really fun way because we, we had all these individual parts uh, that we liked, but we didn't really have a place for them. So we decided to just stick them all together in an <laughs> interconnecting way and come up with really goofy names for all of them and give it a name in a language that doesn't exist. La Villa Strangiata. There's no such word as Strangiata. <laughs> it's just a, a made up thing. Uh, but when we came to record it, it was really a motherfucker. I mean, it was really hard. So we tried for days and days laying that track down uh, live, basically live. And finally we had to say uncle and we recorded it in three sec sections and then edited them together. And that's how the song uh, came together. But the funny thing is, after that album was finished, we went to do a video for it. And at that point, Neil was going through a real, I hate videos, I will not lip sync, I will not pretend to play the drums. He was going through that period, which wasn't the first time he had said that. <laughs> so we said, well, why don't we just record it live at, I think it was Massey Hall. I think Massey Hall was empty that day, and we booked a, a, a mobile unit, and we went over there, and we recorded a couple of songs, and the Villa Strangiata was one of them. And wouldn't you know it, one take. <laughs> and we said, that was easy, why was it so hard in England? 